Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to convert an angle that is say in degree decimal form to degrees, minutes, and seconds or DMS form. And I'm going to show it to you uh, two ways. One, doing it manually and the other one using the calculator. Uh, first, let's note up here that one degree is equal to 60 minutes and one minute in turn is equal to 60 seconds. So by using the first equation, I can write then one minute divided by 60. One minute is equal to one sixtieth of a degree. And then by using the other one, I can put that together and say that one second then is equal to one over three six hundredths of a degree. Okay. So we'll be using that a little bit later on, but let's look at uh, what I have here. So this one says convert to DMS form, that is degrees, minutes, and seconds. So here's what I have in 27.257 degrees. I'm going to break that up into 27 degrees plus 0.257 times 1 degree. Okay, that's the same thing as what I have over here. But 1 degree we know is equal to 60 minutes. So instead of this one degree I put 60 minutes right there and then I do the multiplication and then the next step then that gives me 27 degrees plus 15.42 minutes. Now in the next step all I'm going to do is break up this 15.42 into two parts. Okay so the first one becomes then 15 minutes plus and then over here on the right I'm going to have 0.42 minutes. But I'm going to write that 0.42 as 0.42 times 1 minute. And then 1 minute is equal to 60 seconds. So that's how I get this right here. So I multiply this out and I get 25.2 seconds. Okay, so I replaced the 1 minute by 60 seconds, did the multiplication, so I get 25.2 seconds. So putting the, this together then, this becomes then 27.257 degrees becomes 27 degrees, 15 minutes, and then I just run this 25.2 to 25, and that becomes 25 seconds. Okay, now let's look at the other. Let's go back the other way. Convert to decimal form. Okay, so now I'm just going to go the opposite. 27 degrees, 15 minutes, 25 seconds is equal to, okay, let's break this up, into 27 degrees plus 15 minutes plus 25 seconds. Okay, so the 15 minutes right here, I'm going to break that up into 15 times 1 minute. But from the equations that I have above, 1 minute is 1 60th of a degree. So that's how I get this right here. Okay, and then 25 seconds, I'm going to break that up into 25 times 1 second. But 1 second from the formula above is 1 over 36 hundredths of a degree. So I put this right here. Okay, and now you just combine this. So you can multiply this out. Or if you wanted to, you can multiply multiply the 27, get your common denominator of 3600, so multiply this 27 degrees by 3600, multiply this right here, top and the bottom, by 60, combine and divide, and if you round off, this comes out to 27.257 degrees. Okay, so those are the steps you would use if you did it manually. Now, let's look at the calculator. Okay, so I'm going to do the first one again using the calculator. And I really want to have this in degrees. In some cases, uh, depending on, on your functions, it's not going to matter, but since I'm dealing with degrees, I'm going to put it in degrees. And then I'm going to enter. Okay, I want 27.257, so I'm just going to put in 
7.257. Now, I could put a degree here by going to the angle menu right here, but since the calculator is already set to degrees, it's no, no problem there, so I'm just going to leave it that way and go to the angle menu right here. Okay, It's the apps here. You notice here, number 4 is DMS, so if I hit 4, it says, okay, it's going to convert this, which is understood to be degrees, to DMS format, that is degrees, minutes, and seconds, so I hit enter, and there's the answer, 27 degrees, 15 minutes, 25.2 seconds, and of course, here it gives you the decibel, you, normally you could run these out to home numbers, so I would put just 25 seconds there. There you have it. Okay. Let's go to the next one then. Okay, this one I want to enter this. So to get it in that format then, I have to put in 27. And then go to the angle menu. Second. Number one is degrees, so just hit enter puts it there. And then type in the 15. Go back to this menu. Number uh, 2 is minutes, so I hit 2. So I have a 27 degrees, 15 minutes. And then type in the 25. And now to get the seconds, uh, I don't know why they did that, but they put it over here. You have to hit the alpha key, alpha, and look at the plus sign right there. You see the second so hit alpha and then the plus sign and there you have it so 27 degrees 15 minutes 25 seconds so if you want that in decimal form just hit enter and there you have it 27.256 and if you round it off it comes out to 27.257 what's what I got over here Okay, so that's the way you would work these problems, doing it manually and using the calculator. And this is an DI-83 plus graphing calculator. Other calculators should have the same, the same features. So I hope this helps. And uh, if it does, please subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video.